Is the Microsoft IT Support Specialist Professional Certificate actually worth it? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I'm gonna be going over this brand new certificate that everybody's talking about, and then we're gonna be going over all the important aspects of it, like a general overview of the course, how long it takes to complete, the cost, the demand, the salary, the production value of the course, the chances of landing you a job, what value does it offer, and an overall score and my recommendation for it. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button, and let's jump into it right now. So let's just go over kind of a general overview of the course. It just wow. came out within the last month. It is a beginner level course. You can start taking it at any time. And as they say, it's designed to launch your career as an IT support specialist, build job ready skills for an in-demand career in information technology in as little as three months with no prior experience required to get started. So the certificate itself says that it only takes about three months if you study it 10 hours per week. And it's flexible schedule. So you can learn at your own pace. Here's a list of things that it says that you're going to learn. And some of the skills you're gaining would be software configuration, network protocols, computer hardware, cloud computing, and troubleshooting. And then inside, there's six different courses or modules. The first one is introduction to computers. Second one is introduction to secure networking. Then there's essential aspects of software, hardware, and data backup. Then there's cybersecurity and privacy. Then there's the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. And then there's technical diagnostics and troubleshooting techniques. Now, one of the things that's really valuable about Microsoft is as they mention, it does have an ecosystem of different technologies. For instance, they own Azure, which is one of the biggest cloud storage platforms. And there are literally like tens of thousands of companies out there that use Azure. So getting this certificate makes you look really good to companies because a lot of them are probably using different Microsoft related products. So let's talk about the time to completion. It says that it's gonna take about three months at 10 hours a week. It's also a flexible schedule, so you can study at any time. And almost all reports on Coursera certifications, and by the way, this is a Coursera certification, link down in the description in the pinned comment below if you wanna check it out. And all customer reviews typically say that you can usually finish it quite a bit faster than what they report on the website. So six month ones typically take like one to two months. So three months might take more like one month or even less than that. And when you compare that to how long it it takes you to get a bachelor's degree, for instance, which is 5.1 years on average, or how long it takes you to do a boot camp, which is typically going to be anywhere between three and 12 months. That is really, really good. So when it comes to the time to completion, uh, that's incredibly fast. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Hey guys, in the editing process right now, but quick pause to give you a special deal from Coursera. Coursera is currently offering the Coursera Plus monthly promo. This is where learners will get access to over six thousand courses and these include the microsoft professional certificates that i've covered in this video and all of this for 50 percent off the monthly subscription details are on the screen you can check it out now remember last year they did a promo similar to this i mentioned it in one of my videos a bunch of people got into it and they were super happy with it but a bunch of people missed out on it and this is going to be for a limited time so if you're on the fence about it this is the absolute best time to jump into coursera plus don't want you to miss out on it so it's going to be down in the description as well as the pin comment below. But anyways, back to the video now. Now let's talk about the cost. So college costs $100,000. Boot camps cost at least $10,000. So how much does this certificate cost? Well, first of all, you get a seven day free trial where you can just try it out completely free. And then after that seven day free trial, it costs $49 a month. And that's not just for this certificate, but it's for a bunch of other certificates and classes that you can take in order to educate yourself and invest in yourself as well. So when it comes to the cost, that's also ridiculously good. So I'm gonna have to give that one a 10 out of 10 score. And by the way, guys, I just wanted to mention I am an affiliate of Coursera. So if you do check out the link in the description, if you click it and then you end up, you know, buying it, you know, enrolling to Coursera, then I will get a small percentage of that. Okay. I was recommending Coursera long before I started affiliating with them. So you can also just type it into your browser if you want to as well. No problem whatsoever. But yeah, definitely check it out. Links in the description in the pinned comment below. Now let's talk about the demand. So we're going to be talking about kind of IT related jobs and how much demand there is for those jobs. So computer support specialists in general, according to BLS, which by the way, BLS kind of clumps a bunch of different careers together. They say they're growing about 5%, which is faster than average. And if you search places like LinkedIn for IT related jobs, such as IT support specialists, you do see thousands of results. Same thing if you search systems administrator. So there is a good amount of demand out there in terms of companies actually posting jobs. So the demand seems to be pretty solid. It doesn't seem to be popping off the page. But with that being said, there's a lot of IT related jobs out there. 
and they have tons of different titles. So it's hard to accurately say what the demand for all IT related jobs or even all entry level IT related jobs is because there's just so many different ones and they all have different titles. But with that being said, overall, IT does have pretty good demand. It is relatively easy to get into at the entry level as well. I'm going to go ahead and give demand a nine out of 10. Next is going to be salary. So if you look up jobs that are related to IT, kind of closer to being at the entry level, you do see, you know, IT support specialists, they make about 55 to $86,000 a year. Help desk technician makes about 47 to $71,000 a year. That is one of the easier ones to land. Network support specialists make about 79 to $131,000 a year. Technical support specialists make about 54 to $89,000 a year. System admins make about 78 to $137,000 a year. So the salary is really good, especially the fact that you don't need a college degree, you don't necessarily need a previous experience to get into some of these lower level roles, and you can make it to a six figure salary within a few years. So the salary is excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10. Next is the production value and engagement. And it's actually kind of hard to say at this point because people haven't even gone through the entire course yet because it just came out. But with that being said, uh, Microsoft has 87 courses uh, with 680,000 learners. And overall, the courses have really good ratings. And people say really good things about the courses. For instance, you know, a lot of people talk about Microsoft and Azure. And this person, for instance, says, yes, they are worth it, especially early in your career when you're building experience. My advice would be to study for these exams and take them. You can even get a student discount voucher for the exams, if I remember correctly. So yeah, it's really hard to say when it comes to the production value and engagement. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video at some point in the future, but I'm going to have to give this one a question mark out of 10. Next, let's talk about the chances of landing you a job. So the truth is you're going to need to do a little bit more usually than just the certificate itself in order to land a job, especially if you don't have a college degree or any previous experience, right? You're going to want to build a portfolio. You're going to want to show them that you can actually do the things that you say you can do. Now, when it comes to IT, it's actually much easier to land jobs in IT if you go to kind of uh, remote areas where there's not that many people who have IT skills. So if you're willing to go to some small town in Kansas or something like that, it's probably really easy to get an IT job even if you just have this certificate. So if you're willing to do that just to build experience, you know, maybe for a couple of years, and then you can move into a better job, that could be a good option for you. But with that being said, if you want a more desirable job, you're probably going to have to build your portfolio in order to land that first job. And that's gonna involve doing projects, showcasing your skills, and applying to a lot of jobs. But with that being said, this certificate definitely does help. And there's a couple ways that it helps. First of all, the certificate is recognized and respected by companies. Second of all, people can actually find you through LinkedIn by searching the certificate. So if you have the certificate on your LinkedIn and on your resume, they can actually find it by searching it. Third, they do offer some exclusive perks such as resume review, interview prep and career support upon completion of the course. You also get a career certificate. This is something that you can put on your LinkedIn profile, your resume or your CV. So yeah, there's definitely some perks to doing this. But with that being said, it's probably not going to land you a job on your own unless you want to get a pretty undesirable job just to start off or unless you want to apply to just like a ridiculous amount of jobs until you finally get lucky. But with that being said, it does help. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 score. So let's talk about the overall value that it offers, right? So for $49 a month and you get to try the first seven days completely free. Plus in some cases they actually offer scholarships and stuff. Like I said, click the link just to check that out. You get a whole lot, right? You get a puncher's chance of actually landing you a job and it gets you a good percentage of the way there. I mean, you definitely want to also have a portfolio, especially if you don't have any experience or a degree or any previous skills. But when it comes to value, right? Uh, a college degree takes you 5.1 years, costs $100,000 and you're probably gonna get a job. A boot camp will probably take, you know, I don't know, six months. It'll cost you $10,000 and there's a, you know, you might get a job. The certificate, this will probably only take you like a month, costs you like $49 or maybe you, let's say you take two months, it costs you $98. And you do have a puncher's chance at landing a job as well. So when it comes to the value, the value is just incredible here. And on top of that, I think something that a lot of people don't talk about is the fact that you can kind of audit a bunch of different skill sets and a bunch of different jobs. You can kind of dip your toe into the types of things that you would be doing at a bunch of different jobs, because that's essentially what these certificates are, is it's companies teaching people what skills they want them to know, right? It's so like there's so many skills out there that people don't know that companies really want people to know. And so what do they do? They actually create courses on places like Coursera. They're not making that much money from this compared to what they typically make. And so they're doing this because it's a real need in the job market. So yeah, when it comes to the value of this, it's an absolute no brainer. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10.
after you take this course, you can actually take the MS 900 certification exam and you get a voucher for 50% off on that exam. And that will also open even more doors for you. So yeah, overall score here, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I'm very happy with what I've seen so far. Initial reports are really positive. This one gets two big thumbs up from me. Definitely check it out. Link in the description in the pinned comment below. And check out this video where I go over a bunch of different Coursera certificates and I tell you which ones I like the best.